Hello everyone, what do you think we can get from a Windows operating system file with a size of 2.28 GB? This is the streamlined Windows X Lite version based on the latest Windows 11 24H2. Today, I will guide you on how to download and install this customized version on your computer. Windows X Lite is a lightweight, customized version of Windows 11 designed for improved performance and reduced system resource usage. It is based on the latest Windows 11 24H2 update but has been stripped of non-essential components to reduce its size to 2.28 GB. This version is ideal for users with older hardware or those seeking a faster, more efficient Windows experience. Despite its smaller footprint, Windows X Lite retains essential features and compatibility with most applications and devices. It provides a balance between functionality and performance, making it a popular choice for streamlined computing needs. The download link is provided in the description. One important note is that your CPU must support SSE 4.2, just like the one in my computer. The link to download CPU-Z is also in the description. There are two versions available here, please select version 2. I haven't tried version 1 yet, so I haven't explored the differences between these two versions. Click on the download link, then scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll find the download button. Wait for 5 seconds to generate the link, then download the file to your computer. It takes about 3 minutes to download the file. Now, we just need to extract the Windows X Lite file. Inside, Rufus is already included. However, since the latest version of Rufus is available, I will use version 4.5. Before opening Rufus, make sure you have a USB drive with at least 8GB of space. Then, select the downloaded file. For the formatting section, choose MBR or GPT depending on the partition style of the computer's hard drive you are installing to. Finally, click Start and after about 15 seconds. You will have a USB drive ready with the latest version of the Windows X Lite installation file. Now, access the BIOS of the computer you want to install on. You can refer to the shortcut keys for accessing the BIOS of different motherboard brands as shown in the image. For Dell, I will use the F2 key. In the boot tab, switch from UEFI to Legacy, and set the first boot priority to the USB drive. Then, save and exit. Insert the USB drive into your computer, then press the power button. Wait for a moment, and the computer will automatically boot from the USB containing the Windows X file you created earlier. You will see two options, one version with Windows Defender and one without. Choose based on your needs, then click Next.
On the hard drive selection screen, make sure to format the drive before installation to minimize potential errors. The installation process will take about 10 minutes, and you won't need to do anything else. When you see the notification like the one shown, remove the USB drive. The computer will restart automatically, and the installation of Windows X on your computer is complete. I will provide a quick review to help you compare Windows X Lite with Revy OS and Atlas OS, which I have previously provided installation guides for. Regarding the interface, Windows X Lite doesn't have a modern look, it retains some characteristics of older Windows versions. Personally, this isn't very appealing to me, especially with the logo. However, I must admit that it is well optimized, boots quickly, and is very suitable for low-end systems or for enhancing performance while gaming. This OS comes with basic applications pre-installed, and you can add more if needed. The options to remove applications are limited, but they are sufficient to keep the system clean. Windows X Lite is pre-activated, so you can use it immediately after installation. For now, goodbye, and see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.